Okay, so I think what I've got here is a <clears throat> minimum viable product for a LoRa repeater. Uh, this guy's sending some simple data. Uh, this is straight out of the examples um, bucket for the LoRa stuff. So he's sending uh, like hello and then a number. Really basic. Now I've got a receiver over here. <clears throat> um, same deal like right out of the examples bin. Uh, both of them, you'll notice, are missing their antenna. Oops, I just touched it and kind of... I think I just ruined the demo, but that's okay. My my finger acted as an antenna. Uh, whatever. No big deal. You can see it's not receiving regularly. It's stuck on, like, 63 or whatever. Meanwhile, the transmitter has made it all the way to uh, 70, 71. And this guy is still 63. Gosh, it's quite tough to see that. Yeah. So, um, this one's programmed with the repeater software, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on now, and what you're going to see is it's going to jump from here to this guy who actually has an antenna, it's just going to transmit nicely over to this one, which will start receiving regularly, so go ahead and turn that on. <clears throat> So it's receiving, so you can see this one is receiving like one packet per second, which is what the transmitter is sending. So you can just show that that's synchronized. 91, 92, 92, 93. And then when we come over here now, we can see this one's keeping up, right? 95, 96, 97. So you can see that the um, repeater is functioning. I'll go ahead and I'll turn it off now. And we'll see that this one stops updating. It's no longer receiving through the repeater. Anyway, that's the demo. I'll keep iterating on it.